Hello, everyone, and happy Lunar New Year. I am Angie Ng, the president of Orange County School of the Arts Chinese Honor Society, all the way from SoCal in Santa Ana, California. And I am here today with a few of our members, and we are going to be teaching you all a little bit about Chinese New Year. So I hope you can learn some interesting information. So first off, what is Chinese New Year? Chinese New Year is an annual multi-day celebration that is based around the lunar calendar. Chinese New Year is one of the most important holidays in Chinese culture and is associated with many myths, customs, and traditions. Common themes among these traditions include good luck or fortune, prosperity, wealth, and happiness. So the first topic we are going to be discussing is the Chinese Zodiac. The Chinese Zodiac features 12 different animals. These 12 animals are associated with different years. This year, 2021, we are entering the year of the ox. Those born in the year of the ox are typically strong, reliable, and trustworthy. But with that, they can also be stubborn and opinionated. This year is predicted to bring productivity, career advancement, and success in business. Um, next up, we're gonna be talking about some traditional activities. So first up is um, during Chinese New Year is a tradition to hand out or receive red envelopes or hong bao. It is a monetary gift during holidays and special occasions. Red envelopes symbolize good luck and fortune, and the color red is associated and good energy. Designs that decorate the envelopes vary and may include Chinese characters to Chinese zodiac animals. Elders often give these to children while men give them to unmarried people. Next up, we have the traditional lion dance. And this ancient tradition was originally established to scare away um, evil spirits, but it's gradually evolved to um, becoming an event that also brings blessings to homes and businesses. And it originally um, originated approximately from the Tang Dynasty. Uh, but there are lion dances that vary across regions in China. And um, the ones that we see traditionally today are from the Southern Guangzhou region. So firecrackers are a huge part of Chinese New Year. According to Chinese legend, a monster named Nian would come out every year during the New Year's period to eat the villagers. The loud, explosive sound of the firecrackers are meant to ward off the monster and keep the village safe. Nowadays, firecrackers are set off to scare away any evil spirits and misfortune and prevent them from entering the New Year. They enhance the, they enhance the festive atmosphere and are a large part of the Chinese New Year. Next, we have traditional clothing. Traditionally, males wear a piece of clothing known as tangzha. This is a jacket with a straight collar. It features traditional Chinese knots in the front your wrist for buttons. It is made out of brocade, a luxury fabric in ancient times. Women traditionally wear shipao. These dresses are typically made of a silk fabric and are embroidered with different designs. Most people nowadays wear red or other brightly colored clothing to go with the festive and upbeat mood of Chinese. Now we'll be talking about some traditional Chinese dishes that people typically eat during the new year. So first off, we have dumplings. So dumplings can be described as dough wrapped around minced meat and finely chopped vegetables. Some popular fillings include pork, shrimp, crab, and chicken. Dumplings can be prepared in a variety of ways, including being boiled, steamed, fried, or baked. The shape of dumplings re resemble ancient Chinese silver coins. Eating dumplings during the New Year is considered lucky because it is meant to bring wealth and good fortune. 
next up we have steam fish or yu, and this is um usually carp or um some sort of fish like catfish um they're served steamed as the name suggests um generally with sauces and vegetables and they are a symbol of prosperity and surplus The next dish we have are longevity noodles. This dish consists of long uncut noodles and they can be prepared in a variety of different ways such as being fried or boiled. And they can also be served with a variety of different toppings but the only rule is that the noodles cannot be cut. The length of the noodles are supposed to symbolize a long and healthy lifespan. Moving on we have oranges. People eat oranges or juzi during Thanksgiving Chinese New Year. Tangerines represent wealth, while oranges represent good luck. These associations come from a similarity between the Chinese words for tangerine and gold, and a similarity between the words orange and good luck. Oranges and tangerines are also a bright and vibrant orange. This color is associated with good fortune. I remember every year in Mandarin class, our teacher would, get, would give oranges to the students. Um, now we're gonna be talking about some how-tos like crafts. Um, first off, you can make an easy craft um, for paper lanterns. And so the first step is you're going to be cutting a one inch strip of paper from the long edge of the rectangular piece. Then you're going to fold the paper in half lengthwise. Next, you would cut strips across the folded edge towards the double edge, but make sure you don't cut all the way across. The fourth step is to curl the paper so that it connects to form a tube, and then you can join the edges together with either tape or you can glue it or staple it. Then you would tape the handle that you cut from the one inch strip in step one to one side of the tube to connect it to make a handle. And then you're finished. It's a super easy and simple craft. You can make multiple of them and hang them on a string to make the room more festive. Um, common colors that are supposed to be lucky colors are red and yellow. Calligraphy has been used in China since ancient times as a form of writing um, Chinese characters for over 2,000 years. There are five different styles of Chinese calligraphy, including Zhuan, Li, Xiao, Xin and Kai, and Kai is the most recent form of calligraphy that is used today. What you need to do calligraphy are brushes that are usually made out of some sort of animal's fur, or yeah, um, an ink stick, an ink slab, water, and rice paper, which you can use tracing or regular. And then optionally, you can have a brush rest, brush, brush, brush rest, and a brush holder. Some common characters that are written, written in calligraphy during Chinese New Year include ox, which is nian, and fu, which is good fortune, fortune or wealth. And then attached is a video on how to write xin nian kuai le in Chinese calligraphy. Um, today I'll show you. Here are some things you can do to bring luck into the New Year. You can eat the lucky foods that we've discussed earlier, such as fish, tangerines, or noodles. Give and receive red envelopes, though you have to be careful to give in even numbers because even numbers are supposed to be lucky except the number four. Wear red because it's associated with luck in Chinese culture. Clean the house to clean out any inauspicious breaths collected during the year and decorate your house with things such as a fu sign or banners of, sp banners of spring couplets. Some things you should avoid on the Chinese New Year Day is eating porridge as it symbolizes poverty, washing yourself, particularly your hair because your hair is to fa and fa kai, so you're washing out your wealth, sweeping the house because you're sweeping out your fortune, saying unlucky words like ghost, the number four, or death because the number four sounds like death, um, crying because then you're going to cry for the whole year, and giving unlucky gifts like shoes, shark objects, or flocks. Now a few of our members are going to talk about how we plan on celebrating Chinese New Year during the global pandemic. My name is Caitlin, and every Lunar New Year, my family celebrates by wrapping dumplings together. This year, we'll be upholding the same tradition over Zoom. My name is Hannah, 
and every Chinese New Year, my family has the tradition of wearing the jipao and handing out hongbao to the younger generations. Although my friends and family usually get together for Lunar New Year to eat a big meal, this year we're going to do the same but on Zoom. Hi, my name is Angie and this year I plan on ordering food to go from a few restaurants in LA's Chinatown. That way we can support small businesses who are receiving less business due to COVID safety guidelines as well as because of Chinese discrimination from COVID. And we also found a website that allows you to send money um, through red envelopes virtually. So that should be fun to do. Okay, so that concludes our presentation. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching and listening and that you learned a little bit about Chinese New Year. So with that being said, Happy New Year, Xinyan Kuai Le.